Hello, Magnus here. And this weekend, I've got a video to shoot and pictures to take for a friend's wedding. Now, this friend is getting married. They already hired a photographer and videographer, but she asked me to just show up, bring my expensive cameras, and see what kind of pictures and video I can take. So I said, of course, I'm glad to be invited. I'm gonna enjoy it as a guest, but I'm also going to be excited to use my gear and the limited amounts of gear that I'm gonna bring, and I wanna show you what's in my bag. So basically, the mentality that I wanna actually have when I go to this um, wedding is enjoy myself. You know, that should be first and foremost my priority, to enjoy myself. I may bring pictures, but these pictures are gonna be mostly for fun. I may do video, but again, it's gonna be for fun. But I also want to make sure that whatever I do, I do it well and that I look good without getting in the professionals that she hired. I don't want to get in their way, basically. I just want to do my own thing and then see what happens. But anyway, without further ado, what's in my bag? Well, the first thing I'm going to take with me is my Canon 5D Mark IV, which is excellent for pictures. Can't show it to you right now because I'm actually using it for this video since it's got great autofocus during live recording. So my 5D Mark IV, along with the um, 24-70 f2.8 um, lens, L lens actually, I'll put the links to all everything I'm going to describe in the description down below so that you can pretty much check out what I'm what I'm, you know, uh, using for this thing. Okay, so what else am I bringing? Um, one of the things that I I'm, I'm definitely want to bring with me is a second full-frame DSLR. I'm holding everything right here. So I'm bringing the Canon 6D with me. And the point of this camera is to have two full-frame cameras on me at all times. Have one ready with one focal length and another ready for another focal length in case I need to take two quick pictures and I don't need and I don't have time to switch settings so with this I'm going to take my 35 mil prime 2 2.0 lens and just hook it up and be ready to shoot with that and I'm also going to bring the 70 to 300 uh, 4 to 5.6 lens that I've got here and I've shown you this before this will get me these nice uh, zoom angles so with those two lenses on the 5D Mark IV and the 6D, it'll get me pretty much what I want from any type of situation. Now, I will not actually bring with me any flash. I'm, I'm not using flash. I don't wanna ruin pictures, and if I'm starting to use flash while you have other photographers there, and they're using flash, and videographers as well, it'll just create I, I'm, tension or, or ruin shots that could have been potentially potentially a lot better because someone else is using flash. So no, no flash. I'm just gonna stay inconspicuous in the background. You won't even see me, which is what most photographers and videographers should do. I'm also bringing with me the Panasonic GH5. And with it, I'm gonna bring the 14 to 140, uh, 3.5 to 5.6 lens. This lens is handy. Now, with the Canons, I'm taking pictures mostly, but with the Lumix, I just want to record nice 4K video at possibly a high frame or if we got a lot of light. And if not, just steady shots as I walk around with this. I want to put together like a small video package for her as a thank you for inviting me. And she wanted to see what I can do as well. And I believe that the Panasonic would be the most versatile to use for this type of situation. And with this one lens, basically you're, you're taken care of for all um, pretty much all focal lengths and zoom angles that you want to get without having to, again, interfere with the other videographers and the photographers that are there. So bringing these two with me. And along with the GH5, I'm going to have the Rode Mic Go with me. Now this thing, again, since I'm going as a guest, I'm not bringing a lot of a big backpack with me and to, to have it just dragging around. I'm bringing a small bag with me and I'm not going to be carrying a ton of batteries around either. I'm not going to be taking pictures or filming for the entire process. So I don't want to be carrying around a lot of items. This um, microphone helps in the sense that you don't need any batteries for it. You just plug it in your camera and you go and the audio is pretty good. Now there is a lot better options than this, but this 
option is good enough for what I want to record. Um, the one downside to this is if there's any nearby Wi-Fi, it actually interferes with this microphone and causes pretty much all of your audio to be ruined. So on the Panasonic, I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi so that it doesn't ruin this audio. Finally, along with that, I'll bring, of course, batteries and, re batteries and uh, charge packs, of course, to recharge in the room before I actually go out there, but also um, a slew of memory cards from a 128 CF card. Actually, I've got a 256 in the camera as well. And then a bunch of different SD cards. Do I need them all? No. I'll be fine with a 512 SanDisk Extreme Pro on each of these cameras. And I'll never have to switch a memory card. So from a bunch to two. And that's all I need. But basically, that's it. So let me know what you guys think and what you would bring with you in this type of situation in the comments below as always. Like, share, follow me at Magnus547 on Twitter. And as always, you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus and I'm out. See you guys later.